Today, we are diving into the concept of band reduction, a crucial factor in the bar bending schedule for reinforcing steel bars, commonly known as rebar. Band reduction is a term used in the context of bar bending schedule for reinforcing steel bars. It refers to the length of the bar that's bent during the bending process, resulting in a decrease in the effective length of the bar. This deduction is made to calculate the actual length of the rebar required for a specific bent shape accurately. When bending a rebar, especially for structural members like beams, columns, footings, etc., the process involves bending the rebar at specific angles and dimensions as per the design. The bending process introduces bends, hooks, or other shapes that affect the overall length of the rebar needed for a particular application. The bend reduction compensates for the length of the rebar used in making these bends and shapes, ensuring that the final rebar fits precisely as per the design requirements. Now, let's go through some common bend reductions that we encounter in bar bending schedule. Bend reduction for a bar of diameter D bent at an angle of 45 degrees is taken as one times the diameter of the bar. The application of a 45 degree bend can be found in case of cranked bars used in slabs and beams. For a 90 degree bend, the deduction is taken as 2 times D and you can find such bends in stirrups and ties. In the case of a 135 degree bend, the deduction is taken as 3 times the diameter of the bar. These types of bends are also found in stirrups and ties. Bend deduction for a bar bent at an angle of 180 degrees is taken as 4 times the diameter of the bar. So this was all about this lecture. Understanding the bend deductions is essential for accurate and efficient construction works. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more construction tips and tutorials. Thank you.